Tara has a very sensitive palate and we are going to test the limits of that today. I'm Natalie. I'm Tara. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Hooray. <laughs> today we are going to the Disgusting Food Museum downtown LA. I don't understand why, why this is a thing that happens, why it exists. Ice cream museum, I understand that. Toy museum, I get that as well. This museum, I do not comprehend. <laughs> Evidently the original one is in Sweden hmm. um, and this one's in LA. It's a pop-up museum. Hopefully it ends up touring and it comes to a city near you. And if you live in LA, it is running through February 17th, so you should check it out. Evidently, this place has 80 different exhibits of disgusting food from around the world, but there are some foods that you get to try. Like, they have, um, like, the world's stinkiest cheese. I think you get to smell it. Uh, what? Whoa, no, why? It's I, the stinkiest. I think there's also rotten shark is eaten in, like, Iceland or something. And <laughs> in Iceland? Uh-huh. I'm just gonna torture Tara today, basically. Anyway, we have to go to downtown and find parking, which is never easy, so we should probably <sighs> leave now before the museum closes. Let's we should go. go. <laughs> Describes is a mix of rabbit and chicken. Huh. Mm -hmm. Rabbit and chicken, huh? Yeah. Uh, evidently, uh, they think that Jesus had it at the Last Supper. Really? I mean, that's what that's this thing says I right here. That's not how I the Last Supper. But that makes so much more sense. Maybe it was the penultimate supper. <laughs> I hope that most people know that um, frogs don't come from big old quail eggs like that. Let's see this. <laughs> to make this drink, a frog is skinned, cleaned, and put into a blender, cheese and rice, with water and other ingredients such as quail eggs, honey, spices, and local plants. Whoa. It's a protein drink. Oh. Pop-tarts? Pop-tarts? Twinkies? Delicacies. <laughs> Twinkies have an infinite shelf life. Oh, yeah. High amount of chemical food added is, it's probably that. It's that it really is just all chemicals. That's really bad for you. But the spongy cake is so good. Is this just regular meat? Well, this is, is prime chemo, beef. For some people, this is bad. And look, lobster, these people are all wrong. These are fantastic. I don't know what this is. I'm, I don't feel as strongly about uh, this. Goji berries. Oh, animal fat. Whipped together with berries and fresh snow to make this ice cream. The fat can be from fish, caribou, moose, seal. Tara. Garum. <laughs> no, not garum. Buy you garum. Agree, agreed, 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 agreed. This is so disgusting. I know for a fact this is disgusting because we made this. And it was disgusting. Awful. Escargot is the reason that I try weird foods. When I was a child, my mom tricked me into trying escargot. And I loved it. And it, it didn't bother me when she told me what it was either. You know, like, okay. I think I would have been okay anyway. But I loved it, and I will try anything at least once now. And this is the reason why on the show we are constantly trying the craziest foods we could find. We're in scary lighting right now. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> oh, no. This next one's still moving. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is from Italy. Oh, God. Maggots gross me out. This week, aren't there just, like, a lot of cheeses that are not um, allowed in the United States? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably one of them. Um, it is that left. Is... It's left cut open outside so that these fly lays, flies lay egg, eggs in it. <gasps> the fly larvae feed on the feast on the cheese, and their enzymes break down the fats in the cheese. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Warning: Eating live maggots is risky, and diners need to protect their eyes from jumping larvae as they can survive inside the new host and bore through the internal intestine walls. The cheese is banned in in Italy and the entire European Union. And that is why it's under glass. <laughs> Hi 
haggis. That is something on the list, I'm sad to say, along with black pudding. <sighs> Listen, we're gonna need a lot of subscribers if I'm gonna eat that. That's all I'm saying. Here's the worst part. Now we're gonna eat. There's a lot here. A lot. This is more than I expected. I was pitched five ideas. You There's don't have eight. To do them all. Okay. Do you have your vomit bag ready? No. Do you want a glass of water ready? Yes. Okay. We've got crickets for you. Oh. There we go. I'm so just, glad that you refilled it. Okay. Oh my god, they're so big. There you go. Ready? Yeah. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Great. Here we go. go. On. That's fine. It's down. It's fine. fine. Whatever. It's fine. Down. It's fine. Right? Well, those bugs are kind of small. Those are silkworms. This gives you a silk. Wait, oh no! Goodness. Why is that okay. so big? It's a saco worm. It is it, a, it's not alive. It's though. the larvae of a beetle. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. 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 Okay. It's cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese. Do you have your bag ready? <laughs> I don't know if I can eat that. Do you want to skip that one? I think I have to skip no, that. Can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even watch you. Oh my god, it's so... What is it? Mm -mm. Oh god. That's not good. No. 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 Nothing. Don't eat that. Okay, don't thank you. That. Can you I that one? Can I hand this back? <laughs> I'm shaking. I can't do that. Okay, we're about to eat a century egg, which is like... Even if they look and smell like it, century <gasps> eggs are not actually hundreds of years old. These oh. eggs are preserved in a mix of clay, quick lime, ash, salt, and rice hulls for several months. Why is it jelly? Ash? Why is there jelly? <laughs> that is the beautiful texture and feature of the century egg. That's the egg white, and okay. that's the egg yolk. Is this gonna kill me? Not this is the white. Jesus. This is the white, the jelly part? Yes. Yeah, that's the white of the egg. Ready? Go. Oh, I just like threw something down. I don't know why. That's up. Not bad at all. Not bad, right? No. It tastes like an egg. It does taste like an egg, except there's for some reason jelly. I don't understand why there's jelly. The chair is not okay. <laughs> Right, ladies, it's all in my head. I can't do it. Let's go to Sweden. Oh. That's that caviar this thing. This is that's caviar over there. in the tube. This caviar is in the tube. Fish eggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tara, don't throw stuff on the floor, please. <laughs> Tara's taking a break. <laughs> and really savor the flavor. I mean, you don't have to. Savor the flavor, he tells me. Tara, Tara's taking a break. <laughs> She's not a. You can go look at the architecture. You can handle caviar. No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying you don't. I mean, you might need a break. You might need a break. Struggling. I don't know if I can go on. I really don't. You don't have to do them all. Okay. We. I did say that going in. She doesn't have to do them all. Oh shoot. Okay, I'll do caviar. I've never had caviar. I'll do caviar with you. Oh yay! You're very nice. Cheers. Come by. Actually, I like that. It's a sandwich spread, so mm. you know, instead of salmon, you yeah, and like roe. Yeah, it is, I love roe on top. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Bagel. Let's go down under to Australia. Some Vegemite. Are you gonna try the Vegemite? Vegemite. Ooh, yeah, it it's really soft. Okay, ladies, now we're going to go to Poland. Sauerkraut juice, yeah. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> it's fermented cabbage. It tastes like pickle juice. You like cabbage! I know. You I just need a break? Wait, we're gonna split this. Go cool. Now, you don't just drink it by itself. Ooh. Nobody just drinks it. They mix it in salad. It's oh, that's like definitely that. with salad dressing. I like that. It's like vinegar. Yeah. yeah. That I can do. One of you lovely ladies stated in that quote, texture is what gets you messed up. Well, we're on to Dorian fruit. Ooh. It's called the stinkiest fruit Ooh. in the world. You won't get the stinkiest version because we haven't freshly cut it, but it's been out for a while, so the smell is not as bad. But the stinkier it is, the better it tastes, and you're going to get a slimy version of it, so the texture's not kind of weird. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you tapping out on this one? Oh, no. I can't do it. Oh my god, that smell is not good. <laughs> mango and papaya. Mango and papaya, mango and papaya. I hate mangoes and papaya. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm saying. This is all tiny. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. 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 Mm. 
just eating cold I mean, I taste eating cold vomit. So the yes. mango. <laughs> Who made a cheese? Oh, I am. I love cheese. You have to try this. Okay, ready? It's a really stinky cheese. That's not that What's bad, though. Yeah, that's. Would you put it on a grilled cheese sandwich? Mm, no. Okay, ladies. Um, we're on to the shark section of this. No. The shark? <laughs> this is her crawl. Lives in Antarctica. Freezing cold. Freezing cold water. And the only way it can survive is if it creates its own antifreeze, which is poisonous to humans. Vikings used to hunt these things and like we can't really see stuff. So they found out a way to do it. They gut it, bury it in the ground for like six months until the dirt takes it all away. Oh my and then God. they have to air dry it for another three months and it stinks. It's the worst smell in the world. There's so many people watching you right now. They all Anthony know I Bardin can't. has tried yeah. this. <laughs> man. Wait, that is a mean man. Oh, it smells like nail polish remover. <laughs> oh, Bob. Don't do it. 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 That's friendship right there. <laughs> the flavor's not bad. The flavor is fine. It's the texture. It it's. Mm. What do y'all think, ladies? Huh? So delicious. It's it stuck around for a little while, right? But it's good. I was chewing that for 12 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, it stinks. Oh, they opened up the door again. <laughs> ladies. Oh no! Now what? This what? is the fermented herring. Nope. I want y'all to just get a big whiff of this stuff. Uh -huh. But I have this. some prepared slices for you. Think about this, but because we're doing this, we don't have to do this as a separate episode. Because I've been wanting to do this one. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, you stay over there. Stay over there, Tara. You can't even smell this. Oh, I think. No. It's not the flavor. Uh huh. This is black licorice, basically salty licorice, as okay. we call it. But it's not the typical black licorice we have here in America. It actually tastes way better. Okay. I don't know if y'all like the black licorice. Nope. This white stuff around it is not sugar. It is salt. Do not start it's chewing candy. immediately, or it gets <laughs> stuck in your teeth. Okay. That's a lot of salt. A lot of salt. It is the hardest liquor I have ever tasted. Black liquor has never tasted so good. Compared to the salt. Uh huh. Oh, I get it. Yeah, like once you get past that salt, uh huh. I don't even take the black liquor. Well, I'm gonna let y'all leave on a good note. This is the Australian must stick. Thank you. This is made typically from the anal gland of a deer. Mm hmm. But, but not anymore. It's synthetic, so. We went and read all the stuff. <laughs> but it is what it tastes like. It tastes like the anal gland of a deer. How do we know that? <laughs> it's a fun dip stick. <laughs> oh, it's perfumey. <laughs> I'm okay with this one. No, see, why is this one what gets me worse? Like this, a perfume like is so gross to me. Right, Natalie, I'm gonna tell you this. You win this episode for eating every single one of those and not throwing up. I'm very proud. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the rest of the day though. Do you remember how sick we were after eating live octopus? What's the answer? For 24 hours. Can of Coke. That's true. I have like stuff in my throat. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I get it, like Vegemite, while I found it to be actually gross, like I could see where someone else goes spam is yep. gross, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. We were talking to the guys that are running it and like they're really mindful of putting everything into like the appropriate context and like comparing mm -hmm. a Pop-Tart to a octopus like it's yeah all what you become used to culturally what, we have an issue with like eating some sort of different parts of the animal yeah but but we eat weird parts of the animal like we do it's so it, gelatin is weird yeah it was such a cool learning experience and it was so fun to see things from around mm -hmm. the world all cultivated together it was an opportunity that we wouldn't normally have and we got to try a bunch of stuff that we wouldn't normally probably be able to get our hands on. That's true. Anyways, it was amazing. Uh, it's going to be traveling, we found out. They're trying to get at least 10 more cities, I think, is what mm -hmm. they said. Mm -hmm. So check it out. We'll put the link to the website below for you guys. Mm -hmm. And a big thank you to um, our culinary experts who let us sample everything. Uh, they were such great cheerleaders. Thank you guys so much. You were very understanding of my inability. It is. Tara goes running across the room. <laughs> I tried. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff.
see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you like what we're doing. Oh yeah, and there's Instagram. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, and 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 and, <laughs> and 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 all the things I'm supposed to say. Ring the bell, the bell's a thing. Okay, we're gonna go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>